Hello everyone, very good morning and good evening. Welcome to the next episode of Game of High Flyers. So for today's episode, we have Abdul with us. So before I uh, bring Abdul in, let me introduce a little bit about Abdul. Let me tell a little bit about Abdul to you. And then he would be uh, telling his success story in his own words. So Abdul uh, uh, is basically an engineer and then after engineering, he got a campus placement and he was working into the banking sector for a little bit long. And then one of his relatives suggested him and he was also not happy in the same sector. He did not see that much of growth. And then uh, one of his uh, relatives suggested him that he should jump into the SAP stream. That's the point where basically he came to us and he, he has... Uh, he has done earlier, he has done some basic MM training. Then with us, he has done some data trainings, advanced trainings, which we call the excellence, uh, sourcing and procurement, uh, production planning, and uh, sales and distribution. That time we, we called it as a simple logistics. So all these three modules, data training, he has done with us. And later on, he also got trained on EWM also. So with this efforts, he got, he got a break in uh, SAP. He worked earlier in the FMCG industry as a SAP consultant, and now he's jumped into the uh, uh, service and consulting industry. Uh, his package is uh, now uh, 10 plus, and his overall experience, uh, including in SAP, is uh, uh, four to four and a half years. So his journey was uh, included with a lot of struggles. It's not like that, that he got that uh, jump into this SAP field that quickly or that easily. So with that brief information, I will, I will uh, welcome uh, Abdul uh, on the show. Hey, Abdul, welcome to the game of High Flyers. Hi, Parminder. Very good morning. Hi, very good Thanks morning. Thanks for your invitation for game of High Flyers. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Abdul, for joining. So, Abdul, I have just given a brief introduction about you. It would be great if you can tell your story in your words, starting from your, by, by what time you thought about, okay, you need to move SAP what kind of struggle you got, what kind of trainings you have done, and finally, how you have uh, uh, reached to the heights which you wanted. Yeah, thanks, Parminder. Uh, let me introduce myself. Myself, Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Sattar. Uh, after my graduation, I got uh, on-campus placement in HSBC. I worked in uh, anti money lending Act. Later on, uh, my cousin suggested me to do this SAP course uh, from, I mean, uh, he is used to view trainings on MM. So I have taken internal training like uh, material management. Mm -hmm. Later on, I switched to simple logistics uh, due to I have a passion, but it's it, it not that much easy as SAP pressure uh, to get a job into uh, IT sector. But later on, after one year, I got opportunity through MPAC, uh, which was like, uh, I used it to work for Tyson Foot. Later on, I am currently working for a service-based and consulting company, Mauritech. Um, I mean, uh, before, prior to this, I approached Parminder. Uh, he has given a lot of guidance for me uh, regarding uh, the Delta changes, the simple logistic. At the time, it was uh, boom. Uh, he has guided me a lot, and also his way of training is quite different from other training institutions like uh, they will teach uh, they can complete the course within 45 days or 40 days but no one can teach like data ch delta changes as well as uh, from the scratch and how we need to as a consultant when you i mean you should be ready as a consultant to progress yourself so first i mean anyone can configure the system but we need to understand the business so i gain a lot of knowledge through parminder singh when I was taken certification through uh, Sastrakit regarding simple logistic, which was helped my career as well as uh, I got opportunity to work on EWM projects. As of now, I'm working in support. Uh, coming to my CTC, yeah, as of now, I have 10 plus CTC. And also, I got um, uh, five to six uh, opportunities like a TCS in contract basis and then uh, Crave Infotech for permanent role and Moritech as well as uh, be pro, but I choose a service-based company, which is, I mean, like, I mean, they have a lot of implementation projects there. That's the reason I have selected the company. This yeah. is all about myself, but 
what i can suggest for the freshers as well as experienced consultants whoever want to switch their career into sap as a fresher they must should have to consult uh, like i mean after a lot of search they can find uh, they didn't find any solution because they may have diploma diplomatic conditions like uh, basically we belong to some other stream if you want to switch we can face some other challenges so uh, parminder help me to bring out this uh, i mean uh, uh, where situation i can't able to progress myself into sap so at that time uh, aisa tha ki main kar nahi pa sakta kyunki main banking sector hu main sap mein switch nahi kar sakta so uh, parminder ne bataya tha ki uh, agar sap mein aane se fayda kya hai which help my career growth not only my self development as well as for career growth uh, both professional and uh, as well as social life i can balance both yeah this is all about myself great great thank you thank you abdul so the people who are into the banking sector abdul is uh, uh, one of the example and apart from that i have uh, two three students which is very fresh in my mind i know that they also belong from a uh, banking sector one of them started the career in st sales and distribution abdul started the career in sourcing and procurement and as abdul told you know that the struggle is there but what he has done once somebody has advised he has taken a basic training then he has done that lengthy program with us with the advanced sourcing and procurement he has learned and afterwards he has also learned ewm also right abdul you are also trained and certified on ewm also right yes yes yeah so he has learned ewm also so people you know uh, what i think that as soon as they jump into they learn something and then when they try to get out especially if you are from the banking sector and you don't have any experience you are fresher with single module knowledge especially for the functional consultant it's not that easy so i i show a path to them which need to be covered in 9 to 12 months okay which we are basically you learn a basic module you learn a advanced advanced part of that basic modules let's say in for the abdul case uh basic of mm and then uh, sap s forhana sourcing and procurement advance and then ewm also so when you have you know all the blend of these technologies advanced technologies and basics also then your resume get highlighted separately then then you start getting calls and then it's easy for you to jump into in the market even without experience also that's what abdul has done and that, that's that's great not everyone is able to stick continue learn continuous and and let, let me tell you abdul right now you are also thinking or planning to do abap with us right yes sir abap, ABAP for, for function no functions yeah. yeah so it's is a continuous uh, uh, journey the learning is continuous journey uh, abdul is uh, doing a uh, abap for function cons uh, consultant because he want to become a techno functional and then we also discussed he, he should learn the sap uh, job and mastery course he should go through because so far he has more experience into the support so that he can get implementation exposure so we are basically we are targeting that his package within next one and a half to two years to take it to minimum to 20 lakhs that's that's our target also and and i know that with the the way abdul is learning special he will he will definitely get that now uh, abdul i have i have one specific question uh, why you selected sourcing and procurement what was the basic reason and once you selected sourcing and procurement as you was from the banking sector did you find it very difficult to absorb it to learn it or you find, find it easy to do yeah i have i mean uh, when i came across sap material management it's basically relates to our daily business like i mean daily environment whatever i mean like whenever you go to the market how this product will come the way procure and dispatch of him related to sales all this i mean uh, due to my cousin's help uh, i have learned this material management course but uh, you know uh, is that not much easy to learn that course but later on you know i get more exposure when i was trained on the simple logistics mm -hmm. that is a key factor and apart from that as a fresher only learning the course which might not be help for my career because as a fresher we don't get any opportunity with certification you can get without certification and also uh, i mean if you have only trained in a particular module if you have two modules i mean like uh, mm as well as ewm then it will be advantage for you as a fresher you can get it because if you have two i mean you where you can able to they they can also think like that 
whenever mm-hmm. you are going to attend an interview if you have uh, dual skills then definitely they are going to take you all right 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 very good by the help of i mean i mean uh, if you take certification you can learn the business process what the sap has been given but it should be a quality training which i have seen in sastrakit thank you thank you thank as you as of now again blindly why i have joined this uh, for techno functional consultant program because i know the quality mm-hmm. right and i can progress i'm uh, i mean if i will get a opportunity to work on implementation definitely i can able to progress something mm-hmm. right right thank you thank you for showing trust on us abdul uh, yes. abdul has highlighted one very, very good thing is certification certification is another thing which will help you a lot in the interviews to get the interview calls i also suggest people to go for sap certifications sap certification definitely help you first thing is that when you do the certification you need to go through a lot of stuff so that increase your knowledge when the knowledge get increased it increase your confidence in the interviews second thing once your uh, certification is written on your resume the sap logo is there in your resume the number of calls you get is higher a lot of companies which say that okay it's fresher but it's certified will give some training to them and then will get them absorbed a lot of company prefer that so certifications are very important you will see in in our programs in all of our bundles now certification separate product for the certification is included where we are just focusing that you can how you can get more knowledge to to clear the certification so that's that's good so uh, abdul one more so once you got trained and then you started your job hunt in the market how difficult it was to get the interview calls did you get you you got started with the interview calls very immediately or it took some time uh, how was that uh, period and efforts no and anyway, when when i switched from uh, banking sector to sap i have faced a lot of issues even my financial conditions was not that much good and when it comes to interview without certification we didn't get any opportunity it's a rare kind of an opening so i don't want to miss any opportunity during my job search so later i have approached you Uh, I mean, uh, through Sastrakhi, I have completed my certification in sourcing and procurement as well as data player. So, which helped my career. I got opportunity to work for food industry. Later, I have been work for automotive. Mm-hmm. This is all my, I mean, uh, personal issues. But still, I mean, without certification, we can't get any job. Okay. As I think. Okay. Great. Great. And um, when you went into this, into the interviews, what kind of technical questions they have asked? they have asked you questions i mean first i have faced questions like uh, you basically belongs to banking sector why can't you choose your career in career because basically you belongs to electrical stream why can't you grow yourself in electrical stream so i mean do, uh, i just thought about like i mean uh, getting a job is that not much easy <laughs> because uh, even uh, i was facing with my financial issues because my father was demise suddenly because i need to care my family right 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 apart right. from that you know uh, i mean basically i think uh, certification has helped me and as well as uh, the way i have passion as well as the skills i have been possessed during my interview and also definitely as a functional consultant you should have you must have some te- i mean uh, technical knowledge as well about mm-hmm. which was i mean uh, as of now they are uh, sastrakit has been conducted this program recently i think they have started i have enrolled myself yeah abap is you know that uh, i i really feel why I, i tell you there's a big story why we have started this program so uh, when i started my career i uh, i was always very passionate to learn ki yaar bhaiya ye piche kya ho raha hai <laughs> master it i know configuration i know but behind the screen what is going to happen and whenever we want to discuss with abapers they they tell some story okay Uh, this is very complicated this will take that many days uh, this thing is not possible that thing is not possible you are committing to client and then you come back and then aap aapar se bhaiya ye to nahi ho sakta <laughs> isme to 10 din lagenge isme to 1 mahina lagega to bahut complicated hai so you know that i don't want to get into that situations so that's where basically i try to learn uh, abap and when i try to learn abap i successfully failed because it was a complete abap course i tried to do it and i was having complete functional mi- mindset 
coming from an engineering background, mechanical, work yeah. to the productions. And then functional module was very easy for me. But when oh, I tried to jump into a BAP, I was not able to grasp it. And then from there, it was still tickling in my mind that a BAP is the one thing which we should yeah. know it. Then I met a few of the consultants during uh, working and they are very good in a BAP. They are functional consultant, even they can uh, write small kind of reports and that kind of things, very good in debugging. Then I, again, I felt that yeah, a BAP is the one thing which is must required for the functional consultant. And the problem is when you go into the deep and try to learn everything, there you lose the focus. Then I met Pankaj and then we went through into two or three workshop to define key. If a functional consultant need to learn a BAP, what they need to learn. So we come up with the structure with 12 to 13 session, prescribed sessions for function consultant that what they need to learn within the ABAP. We prepare this curriculum and right now it is going on. So that's where the story behind ABAP for functional consultant course. So it's good you have joined. Definitely it would be very helpful. It would, it can, it would be very helpful for any functional consultant. Yeah, that's great. So Abdul, what is the next game plan? How you are approaching your career? I know that you are you become a techno functional consultant, uh, uh, learning a BAP. Apart from uh, that, uh, you are doing anything else also? No, no, as of now. Right now, you are focusing to become a techno function. Yes. So, so you guys know, right? The people who are hearing us, Abdul started his career with the basic MM, and he's already working. He got the job. He did the two switch, first and second switch. He has already done. It's not like that the learning journey has stopped. Yeah. SAP is a field when you jump in, your, your learning curve has, has always gone to up and you need to, you need to be self-motivated to do it. Many people I have interaction, they are working, they got stuck with support projects for <clears throat> 10 years, 12 years. They said that company did not provide the opportunity. They also did not upskill. They said company has not given the proper training. It's not, it's not the responsibility of companies. You yourself is your product. It's your responsibility to improve yourself. That's what Abdul is doing, and, and it's great. It's uh, appreciable. So uh, Abdul, that's that's great. Uh, you came here. You shared your story with us. I hope that a lot of people, especially the people working in banking sector, and then they look towards ki ye SAP kar sakte hai kya? Uh, SD module, MM module. A lot of people have converted like you. So you would be a source of motivation for them. So this interview would help them who are thinking in the banking sector, can they go into SAP? So thanks for coming up and thanks for sharing your story. Thanks a lot, Parminder. Thanks a lot for giving this opportunity to share my success. Thank you. Thank you, Abdul. And thank you, everyone who is hearing. We'll come back with the next episode of Game of Five Flyers very soon. Thank you and bye-bye for now. Bye.